and we're rolling. And I'm going to call this fresh pasta. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Meredith Abbott and welcome to Sur La Table. Today I am going to be preparing a pasta carbonara. The secret to this dish is to have all of your ingredients prepared before you start cooking because it comes together super fast. For this recipe, you need salt, pepper, parsley, eggs, garlic, cream, this is controversial, I'll talk about it, bacon, Parmigiano-Reggiano, and fresh pasta. To get started, I have my bacon crisping in a skillet. It's more traditional to use pancetta, but sometimes that can be difficult to find, so bacon is just fine. Um, or guanciale, if you happen to have a wonderful Italian butcher shop or market in your area. So that's off to the side, crisping. I have a large pot of water coming to a boil. I have a pasta insert in it because that's gonna help me strain the pasta later. Now I'm preparing my sauce. Pick and chop some parsley. And then I will whisk the ingredients together. Bundle this up. Thinly slice in one direction. I'm going to rock my knife through. Nice, small pieces. Using my bench scraper, gather up parsley, add it to my bowl. This is why I'm going to mix my sauce in. Watch your bacon, stir it often as you need. Next, I am going to crack my eggs into my bowl. Four eggs. Watch for shells. Beautiful. Cracking your eggs on a smooth, flat surface helps to get a nice, clean break out of your shells, and also you're less likely to get shell into your broken egg. Um, if you were to crack it on the side of the bowl, like I think we all learned doing as, as children when we started helping, that pushes the shell in. This way a flat surface just breaks it around and you get a cleaner cut. Wipe my hands off. Once your bacon is crispy, you're going to turn the heat off underneath it and add in your chopped garlic. That will go in. Give that a little stir. It's going to become fragrant. It's just going to cook in the residual heat of the bacon fat, and that's what you're looking for. Lovely, so no heat underneath it anymore, and it's still sizzling and cooking the garlic. Great, that can just stay off to the side. I'm going to add in my grated Parmigiano-Reggiano. Very cheesy, very delicious. And cream. Now, cream is controversial. Some purists say don't do it. It's optional on this recipe. Pinch of salt. Go kind of light on the salt in this step because the Parmigiano Reggiano is quite salty itself. Some freshly ground black pepper. And this just gets whisked together. There you go, make sure it all comes together. Okay. Completely mixed together. I'm not seeing any streaks of egg. Looks great. Now this just gets set off to the side. Next step is to cook the pasta. All of my mise en place is ready, which means all of my ingredients have been prepared. I have my fresh pasta, my sauce. In the skillet, I have my crisp bacon and garlic that went earlier. All that's left to do is 
cook the pasta and then mix it all together. So carefully take the lid off, watch out for steam. Always open up the pot away from you so you don't get steam burned. Set that off to the side. I like to season my water for pasta always. Helps to season every step along the way. So I'm gonna take a big pinch, probably a tablespoon or two of salt into my boiling water. This is at a rolling boil, which means I have big bubbles coming up, vigorously boiling. So one pound of fresh pasta. You can also use dried. Um, fresh is great because it cooks super fast. So carefully drop this in to your boiling water. And because this has been nested, I don't want it to stick together. And take my tongs and just make sure I give this a good stir and break up those little nests of the pasta so they don't stick together. And this is only going to take about two minutes to cook. So I'm gonna bring my skillet over, move my sauce to the side. Now when this pasta is cooked to al dente, so there's still a little uh, chew to it, I'm going to strain it and add it to this skillet. I'm going to mix and stir all together in the skillet. So get yourself ready. I'm going to switch and just use my tongs now. Stirring my pasta again to make sure that it's not sticking together. All those strands are individual strands. Dried pasta will take about six minutes to cook. Fresh pasta will take about two. I'm gonna grab one strand. I'm looking to see if I see any raw, rawness into the center of the strand. There's just a little bit, so I'm gonna let it go about 30 more seconds. It will also continue to cook in the skillet a little bit, but want it to be mostly there. So the residual heat of the pasta is going to cook the egg and it's going to become this beautiful, silky, velvety sauce. This is super decadent, really special, but it's not really difficult. We are there. I'm gonna take a clean, dry towel so I can grab this pasta insert and then turn the heat off. You always want to save your pasta water because if the sauce is too thick, using some pasta water to thin it out is always a good idea. So not gonna strain it fully. It's okay if there's a little water still in it. Dump it right into my skillet. Set that back aside. I'm going to add my sauce in. And then I'm just going to stir and stir like crazy. Picking up the pasta, stirring it around so it gets fully coated. Now, if you don't have a large skillet, you could do this in a large mixing bowl. The cheese will start to melt, the eggs are going to cook, and it creates this beautiful, silky sauce. Pick it up and turn it as you need. This is basically there. Look at that. And there you have it, pasta carbonara. Enjoy. For recipe videos, cooking classes, and more, visit surlatob.com.